want to see? Anyone, anyone, anyone? I know that sometimes when you get a guy on the ground, it's not as easy. When you get a guy on the ground, and it's not as easy to get the punches off as it seems. Uh, it seems like, you know, you, your first fight, you think all you gotta do is get him down, then you're gonna be able to punch him, and then you're not able to land your thing. Is there anything that you do in particular to be able to set up the land your punches once you got Yeah, definitely. It's a, you know, I've been known for being a ground bounder. And it's uh, getting harder and harder to actually punch his people because it's it's pretty easy to defend it. When you grab the guy and hold it tight, it's kind of pretty... <laughs> so it's pretty hard to actually, you know, be effective with your punches. And good question. And especially when the ref is telling you, like, action, action, just keep doing it. And then you just lay down. <laughs> lay down the back. Yeah, so yeah, he, he, he grabs you right here, and you, you're doing something like this, there's no way I can burn it right here. So you have to keep your distance. So you have to keep your distance and your stance right here. So preferably, you keep them, you guys know from Jiu Jitsu, you want to keep your weight here. If you put all the weight here, it's going to be easier for him to get my hand and you know, no. do something like this or attack my hands. So I want to keep my hand a little bit here. And this one, that's my playing hand. So you can, you know, hit him here and there. Uh, that's from the guard. I prefer to be side control or actually half guard. A lot of jujitsu guys, you don't like to have guard because, you know, from half guard, he can actually still choke me out, he can unbar me, do all this stuff. But it's a great position for striking because it, he, it's hard for him to escape right here. Even if he does anything, I can just place my hand here and just start sliding. That's a, that's a great position. With the side control, I like to keep this arm, my knee on it, this with a hook, so now I can effectively use my elbows. Sometimes I can switch this foot right here, so you actually pin it down and control this hand. That's the striking right here. So you can control it with your hand, the main thing is that hand control. Yeah, but again, it's, it's hard sometimes the guys keep it so tight, and actually Jason Lambert did a good job. Me. And I could feel a bit affected, but uh, you know, that happens. Any other questions? I've got a question for you. Who are you fighting next? Uh, fighting uh, March 21st with UFC and Denver, uh, Fasha Lele. How do you see the fight going? <laughs> I try not to give up my secrets, but uh, I'll try to st stand up and strike with him because he's a good grappler. And he probably expected to take it down and stuff. He can go either way, but knockout will always be nice. How hard is that for you as a wrestler that your instincts tell you to go for the takedown, but you're going to actually try to stand up and bang with somebody? Well, everybody else, you know, keep calling your wrestler, but I haven't wrestled in about 15 years. I'm a MMA fighter. That's my job, that's what I get paid for. So. And if, uh, I'm gonna say, I can control my instincts very good. You're right, it's easier sometimes to take it down, but I know if I take it down, what are I gonna do then? You know, I'm gonna strike him, I'm gonna uh, finish him on the ground as a, you know, ground pound, or he's gonna get the good defense and uh, the referee's gonna pick me up anyways, because nothing happened. The referee, not me. <laughs> All right, anybody else have any questions? If not, we're going to wrap up the demo. We have another demo here, but Vladimir is going to take some pictures, sign some autographs. Hey, I want to say something also. You guys see this t-shirt? The right. Viking on it? That's Vladimir Matushenko short. Go buy it. It's going to be out in a couple of weeks, so you guys can go and tap out and uh, do that. Yeah, make sure you take care of our good people over at tapout.com. They make a lot of this possible for all these big martial artists to be able to compete at this level. Without the money that they put to these athletes, they can't train full time. So make sure you take care of uh, their sponsors and all the other sponsors in MMA. Vladi, we want to thank you for coming out. And everybody, in an orderly fashion, please, if you want to get an autograph or a photo with Vladi, make your way.